So you finished recording your song inside of Cakewalk. Now you're ready to export that thing. Keep on watching this video. And now that I think about how things are What's up, everybody? Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, guys, so what it is, Chris Lee back with another video. What I'm gonna be doing with this video is showing you guys how to export your song after you are finished completing and recording it or whatever the case may be. You wanna send a song to yourself, to email, maybe a client, maybe whatever the case may be. I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to go ahead and export the song and you should be good to go from there. All right, so let's jump into it. Hypothetically, you know, you got the song and you you're loving it. And this is the reason that I've been feeling like I'm broken. I'm broken. But never you're not around, I feel like I'm choking. Yeah. I'm suffocating. I know you need to focus so that we can be so we can be together forever. I just wanna be together. You're loving it, you're ready to go, you like the way the song sounds or whatever the case may be. You just hit control A and then what you wanna do is go to file, go to export, and you wanna go to audio. Once you go to file, export, you just save it wherever you're gonna save it. So say we chose desktop, create a folder like Cakewalk, songs or whatever. And here you wanna choose the file type. So if you want to do high quality stuff, uh, I always recommend that you go with the WAV file always. But if you want something small, more compressed format, then go with an MP3 if you're going to be sending it just for listening purposes or you want to send it through email or whatever the case may be and you just want to listen to it real quick, then use uh, MP3. It's going to be a smaller format and it's going to be a lot easier to send it. If you use WAV, it may be too big, so you might have to use something like um, you send it or send space or file sharing or whatever the case may be. Something that can send high quality uncompressed files, okay? But for just for, you know, listening purposes for yourself, you can go ahead and choose MP3. Once you go to MP3, you go ahead and choose that folder. It's going to ask you about the channel format. I would always keep that as stereo. Uh, and it says source category. You want to make sure that you choose the entire mix, okay? Not your buses, not hardware output, tracks, clips. For right now, we just want to focus on the entire mix, okay? The sample rate, I recommend 44.1 for your actual exporting final output. 44.1, 16-bit. The CD quality, that's what you want to have. You don't have to worry about any dithering. Uh, just leave that be, okay? All right, so once you do that, you just go ahead and name it um, New Song Featuring Blah. <laughs> All right. I actually put the LOL. I'm kind of crazy for that. And you just hit export from there, okay? Once you do export, for MP3, I'm always going to recommend that you have 320 uh, as, the high, as the highest quality. That's just my recommendation, but if you want to do anything lower than that, it's totally up to you. You can leave it at 128 if you want to. Um, and then I always want to do the better quality. So always move that to better uh, so we can encode and get every piece of information in this recording while we're actually bouncing it down. Other than that, everything else is totally fine. You don't have to do anything else and you just hit OK. And as you see, it's bouncing the track down, OK? So we're just gonna let it do its thing. And I'm gonna sit here and you know drink on some of this this coffee. Decaf, because I ain't supposed to have caffeine, so I mean the export Tom it's it's decent. Like I actually say it's pretty quick because some programs, they require you to wait the entire time for the entire song to export. Um, this is doing it pretty good. I would probably say this is probably 30 seconds, um, less than a minute. Okay, so after we do that, we just want to go ahead and find our source. So let's just see if we can find uh, desktop. 
and cakewalk songs and boom there it is now probably not play it because of i'm using the software oh, it actually did Night. you're not around i feel like i'm choking yeah. I'm suffocating. i know you need to focus so that we can be so we I can't wait to finish that song. I mean, I, I know I've been doing a lot of videos uh, talking about it here lately so I can do these tutorials. But yeah, anyways, guys, I don't want to get lost in that. My template is definitely going to help you guys basically hit record, plug and play and just record. OK, so if you're interested in getting that, please email me. I'll let you know the rates. I'll have the link in the description box. Other than that, guys, if you need any more tutorials on anything, just basically let me know. All right, guys, so that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Did you enjoy this video? Was this video helpful enough for you to go ahead and start exporting your songs outside of Cakewalk? If so, leave me some comments. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video with anybody else that may need help inside of the software. If you have any questions or concerns or just need any help in the software, go ahead and watch my videos. Leave me some comments or or just pretty much email me and I'll try to get you guys covered. Thank you for watching my videos and as always, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, how things are turning out. I, I knew I should have left you a long time ago. And I'm trying to do better with time.